What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at setting up your own custom built Windows 7 PE disk it's pretty straightforward and we're going to be using a small little program and I'm going to show you how to do that right now so we're going to go into my computer here now I've got a pen drive in here I've got a 4 gigabyte pen drive we're going to be using this one into the C drive here you'll see a program which is what I'm going to be using called make underscore PE free that's the actual program we're going to be using. It's about 48 megabytes in size and all I need to do is click on this and unzip un uh, it all and it will create a folder inside here. We're also going to need a Windows 7 uh, DVD and we're going to copy all the contents of that into a folder of your choice. Uh, just name it, I've called mine Win7 and this is all the contents of that DVD. So let's fire up our actual program going to extract that into the C root directory, leave this as it is and it will name a folder itself. Okay so that's now done. If I pull this down a bit you will see a folder called make underscore PE free. Inside there there's all the goodies that we're going to be using to create our Windows 7 PE disk. Okay, so let's fire this up. What we need to do here is click on the make underscore PE free dot executable. Okay, that's now opened up a little uh, program here. Now we've got the Windows source area here. This is where we need to point to our actual Windows uh, DVD or actual folder so I'm just going to click on this come into the C root directory here and come down to the win7 folder click OK and that's our actual Windows 7 there now we don't need to use wake here we can uh, get away with this because this program allows us to build this without using that okay so the next thing we need to do is make sure this is uh, selected with our AIK. We want to make sure we're going to use this version here, EXP. We want to make sure use uh, reduce size is enabled. Now, if you want .NET Framework, you can actually put a tick in here if you wish. Uh, I'm going to leave mine out, but uh, also Adobe Flash, we're going to leave that ticked as well. So pretty much you can see it's going to make our little ISO image and this is where it's going to go. Okay, so what we're going to do next is click on go. Okay, so that's now finished. As you can see, let's just uh, give us all the information that we need there. Can click OK here. Okay, so let's take a look at our ISO image. Now that placed the ISO image inside Win7 PE underscore x86. That's where it placed our ISO image, and there you can see it's right there. It's a very small ISO, and that's because it's a very basic build that we've done. It's 268 megabytes in size. If we booted to this, which it would work, we would have a live environment of Windows 7 PE and it would actually boot up pretty fast and uh, we could then use that to uh, fix PCs, i.e. remove malware manually or, or whatever you wish to use it for. Okay. Now there's also um, some other things we can do. We can add uh, more changes to this. Obviously the more changes you make to it the larger the file will become. Now you want to try and keep the size down to as small as possible um, but we could run this on a DVD if we wish or a CD or even a USB flash drive because it's only 268 megabytes in size we'll probably get that on a CD. So how would we go about making changes to that? Well we could go into multi-folder 
and you can see inside here we have a folder called pstart now if we wanted to make changes to uh, this we could add more programs inside the progs folder here we can add in more programs you can see some of these are empty and that's because it needs uh, programs added to them but you can see there's loads of little folders here uh, VLC portable you can see that's empty we could add uh, the VLC portable they've already created some for you to give you an ed start on what to do now you can either edit the pstart xml file you can do that in Net, uh, notepad plus plus and you can see here or you can open up the actual pstart executable and you can now see what it looks like now once you've made all your changes here you can add this to your flash drive in the root directory of it you can scan for executables also run run as open uh, containing folder and also add file folder group and the separator pretty straightforward really and you could just add all your goodies inside here and once you've done that and you've got all this uh, set up you just need to copy all of this content to your root directory of your USB thumb drive okay that's one way of doing it there's also some other areas here we've got multi ISO uh, won't be able to cover everything here we've got PE free underscore mod and that's for modifications we can make changes to our build before we actually build it now we just went in straight off the bat and built one uh, but if you want to make some changes this is the place where you can do that and there's plenty of information inside here to help you do that okay let's first off start off with the PE free underscore add this is if you want to add stuff inside here and uh, if I wanted to add say for instance a PP apps folder I could add that inside here and that will add that to my build so let's go ahead and do that so I'm just going to add something straight into here PP apps and this is all my portable apps I could add into my build itself okay so this would make the ISO image a lot bigger so if I look inside here now you'll see some portable applications okay so if I went inside here this is an actual portable app and you can see a PP app dot any if you open this up it will give you the information of how it's been set up now you've got data recovery here I can change this uh, to whatever I wish and it will be in file tools date recovery at the moment obviously it's not a date recovery tool so you just change the name to this and then create that folder and away you go and that's the description and the command line pretty straightforward now once this is all done I'm not going to bother changing these for now I'm just going to show you so we just actually pull this out like so now you've got drivers here win 7 drivers inside here this is where you would add your it will tell you here look put drivers folder here it's pretty straightforward and you could put your graphics drivers inside here okay and stuff like that so if you've got other graphics drivers that you need uh, network drivers and stuff like that you want to add more you could add them inside here so you could actually get on the internet if you're having trouble getting on the internet this is where you put your drivers pretty straightforward uh, obviously the registry and also win 7 add okay so let's go ahead and quickly uh, do another build of this with our little modifications that we've done so I'm just going to quickly come here and uh, this was 268 megabytes in size so I'm going to delete this and then we're going to restart up our program once you've done that you leave the settings as is because it's not changed and then what we're going to do here is click on go okay so that's now completed click OK here 
Okay, so let's have a look at the actual ISO image that we just created. And as you can see here, it's now grown in size. It's now 634 megabytes. So what you want to try and do here is keep the size of this down. Now I've only just shown you how to put these portable apps inside the actual build itself. And this will actually make the actual PE uh, build a lot bigger. So you can actually use the P start method if you wish and put that on the uh, the actual root directory of your thumb drive or you can actually embed them either way whatever floats your boat really but if you're going to embed them try and keep the size down small okay you could probably weed out a lot of these that you don't use okay so only put in stuff that's going to be necessary for the types of jobs that you're going to be doing now we can obviously have a look at this in a second um, but I'm going to just paste this onto my desktop here now you can use whatever tool you like to get this to your USB uh, pen we can use Rufus, uh, Rufus that I showed you the other day uh, just run this as administrator and all you need to do here is make sure you got the right drive I'm going to call this uh, WinPE it's in the right um, capacity size I'm now I've got the right drive here leave everything as is uh, unless you want to change the volume name and whatnot uh, do a quick format and um, ISO image is what we're going to be using Okay, so we need to make sure we've got the ISO image bit done there. Click on this. And uh, we're going to select the actual one that we need. And then click start. It'll warn you that it's going to format and you're going to lose all your data. Click OK. Okay, so that's now the actual process complete so if we have a look at our pen drive you'll see all of our bootable files here okay so that should be now bootable now what you can do is if you wanted to use the p start version p start folder which will be inside multi and inside here and once you've set all this up you would copy all these files like so and you would put those into your root of your actual USB thumb drive like so and that will copy those across now I've not done mine but I'm just showing you exactly which way to do it it's pretty easy so once that's now complete you should have something looking like this So once that's now finished it should look like this with your ISO in there and also all your other files and inside your p-start would be all your programs okay so once that's now done you can boot it up and uh, change your boot order inside your BIOS and boot to your USB thumb drive let's take a look at what it would look like just fire this up inside VirtualBox Now I'll try to install the drivers but you can actually um, click Z here to exit out of that. It will skip that part and there you have the actual finished process. Now this is not a complete version all completed it's just showing you what exactly what you would look like once it's done. And you can see the PP apps uh, gen here. This is if you wanted to put it embedded and you click on this and it would load up all those actual um, portable applications that I set inside here and as you look inside here you'll see all the tools that you've got and these are all your portable apps as you can see here anti-malware you should have all these programs in here pretty much and you could click on these and they should fire up they might take a bit of fettling to get it working properly but there you can see this is the actual Dr. Webb's Cure It and you just click on OK and away you go. Cancel that out. But basically that's how you set up those portable apps. Pretty straightforward and pretty easy to do. I'm just going to exit this out. And then you would also have all the other areas that you would have inside here. You can see them all joined in there. Okay. And also if you add the other apps it will be slightly different. Uh, P-Start you'd have that 
uh, loaded up as well okay so I think that's going to be about it for this video I think I've covered just about everything I can there if you want any more videos like this give me a shout and I'll do my best to make those videos for you but pretty much that's how you set up a Windows PE disk it's pretty straightforward really and we've showed you a, a USB drive and also DVD version if you wish okay so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys and also rate and favorite my videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now